to read you a bike like Sergio's. See, what do we notice from the front cover? I think this is Sergio who's riding his bike. This is a friend who's walking. This book kind of reminds me of the book Those Shoes that we read on. So this is by Mary Beth Boltz and it's illustrated by Noah Z. Jones. Every kid has a bike but me. I think every kid has a bike but him. Seems like it. Sergio rides his new bike, one while I run alongside out of breath. Ask your parents again, Sergio says. Your birthday's coming. Sergio forgets there's a difference between his birthday and mine. I wish I say, I wish I say, but I know that wishes won't make money appear. At Sunny's Grocery, Sergio buys a pack of football cards. I stand in line, mad with the bread my mom wants, waiting behind the lady in the blue coat who we will all, who we see all the time. She steps up to pay and gathers her bags in the shuffle, her purse tips. A dollar floats to the floor. No one sees, uh-oh. See the dollar fell on the floor. I scoop up the money fast. She's out the door, but I don't chase her. I mean, it's just a dollar. <gasps> Is that right? being dishonest and stealing. That's not good. At home, mom's feeding the baby. The twins pull pans from the cupboard. My Reuben, she says, was it a good day? I nod and act busy. That dollar in my pocket stays a secret. There they are in family. So he's not being honest about that dollar. Later, when I'm alone in my room, I fish out the crumpled bill and stare. It's not one dollar or five dollars or ten. It's one hundred dollars. My hands are shaking. That money is enough for a bike like Sergio's. Then I won't have to run. I'll be riding. Dad gets home from work late and tucks in my little brothers. When he gets to me, I squeeze my eyes shut and stay still as a stone. So he's pretending that he's asleep. In the morning, the hundred dollar bill is safe in my backpack. When I get to school, Mr. Grady says we will be learning about money and math, just like us. He sets up a store with fake bills and coins and pictures of things we can buy. I joke around and blow all my Mon play money on a camera right away. Me on my bike is all I can think about. So excited for his bike. We stop at the bike shop after school. Inside, I walk the rows and find one like Sergio. In, but, but silver. Man, you look good on it, Sergio says, and it's true. But I know if I ride home on a bike like that, I'll have to tell my parents where I got the money. I'll talk to them tonight, I say, and Sergio high fives me. Uh -oh. At home, mom is making a grocery list for Saturday. She walks her fingers through the cash in her wallet, then she crosses things off. Maybe next week, she says, she looks up at me and smiles. Me with the hundred in my backpack, her crossing things off. So sometimes you have to make decisions. You can't always buy everything that you want. Sometimes you have to decide what you can afford. Then she hands me a $5 bill. On your way home tomorrow, can you pick up orange juice at Sunny's? When she's mentioned Sunny's, I feel the sweat. What if that lady in the blue coat is there? Uh-oh, he has to go back to the store where he found the $100. I take my stuff 
to my room and dump my papers out of my backpack, and that's when I see it. The zipper that was closed is open just enough, and the money that was there is gone. Heading out the door, I mumble to Mom, I'll be right back. Uh-oh, the money fell out of his backpack. Rain is falling as I retrace my steps from school to bike, to the bike shop, to home. Leaves and money look the same. Rain and tears feel the same. It's nowhere. Oh, he lost it. I was hunched and dragging to school the next day while Sergio rides circles. My brother built a ramp in the alley and I went airborne, he says. If you get a bike, you can use it. I don't tell Sergio that I won't be getting a bike anytime soon. The day stretches out. How many nickels in a dollar, Mr. Greedy asks? How many quarters in a five dollar bill? When the bell rings, I pack my backpack with homework and notes and tell Sergio to ride home without me. With everyone crowding in a hurry, I spot something, the smallest zipper inside, still closed. This was the pocket, not the other. I slide it open and I am rich again. To get that bike, I have to tell. Uh-oh. He found the money in his backpack. I raced to Sonny's as fast as as riding and rush to the back of the store for the juice. Someone bumps me, apologizes in a soft voice. I turn. My feet are frozen, watching as the lady in the blue coat makes her way to the counter with her eggs. She reaches into her purse, and I, and like a hot blast, I remember how it was for me when that money that was hers, then mine, was gone. I leave the juice behind, and this time I follow her. Is he gonna do the right thing? I hope so. She walks down one street, then another, and past the bike shop. My mouth is dry. Excuse me, I say. She turns, and we are face to face. I breathe fast, and the words bust loose like they've been waiting the lady says yes, she lost a hundred dollar bills and has been looking since. She tips her head. Why? I uncurl my fist. I found it, holding it out in front of her. Her face changes from surprise to joyful to soft. She takes my hand in both of hers like a sandwich and asks my name. Thank you, Reuben, she says. You have blessed me. I am happy and mixed up, full and empty with what's right and what's gone. Did he do the right thing? Yeah. He should have done that in the first place. But I'm glad he was honest. At home, everyone is waiting, and then and the lost and found story is mine to tell. What you did wasn't easy, my dad says, setting his hand on my shoulder, but it was right. My mom pulls me close. We're so proud of you, she says. And in the warm house with my, my family all around and my birthday party here, I am proud too. So he realizes the important thing is to be with your family. That's all you really need. The end. So that was A Bike Like Sergio.